hello dear friends students and viewers hope you like my previous videos so today in this video i am showing you how to delineate a functional region by breaking point analysis actually breaking point analysis it is invented by william riley in 1931 he developed these formulas this formula so to find out the breaking point between two cities on their populations basically it is purely depends upon the newton's gravitational principle and it shows how the large city attract the customers of uh, rural communities so mainly two components are used to find out this breaking point so one is distance another is central mass so here distance actually distance between two points is represented by road railway line waterways time money which are represented by kilometer mile hour or rupees and central mass it can be represented by different variables like total population employment income total capital etc so here in this diagram you can easily understood how these breaking points are functioning so here two city one is adhubguri another is nathua so adhubguri having 4 lakh population and nathua 90000 population so here is the formula d divided by 1 plus root over pv divided by pa where d represents the distance between the center that means this one is a center and this one is also a center so here this d represents the distance between this center to this center and it is here 17 kilometer so d represents here 17 kilometer then pv pv mean actually mass or amount of second node here is the second node which has uh, total 90,000 total population and pa it represents the first center having 4 lakh population so if you put this total population uh, here and pv here then you will get the BP value so here is the question where asked delineate the functional region of the Uguri town on the basis of total population and road distance from given data so here is the data so the, this column represents the total urban center this column represents total population then distance from a town or a so here you can see it is actually zero then Moinaguri from Dhubguri to Moinaguri it is 21 kilometer from Dhubguri to Falakate it is 23 kilometer in this way from A to E it is 4 kilometer then 7 and 17 kilometer so in the next table I am showing you how to find out this breaking point or BP so here this column serial number name of the center total population is all already given here one thing you have to remember that if these distances that mean kilometer distance are not given in such cases you have to find out the distance for example here is the given map this map will be given at the time of examination so here is the given map from where you have to find out the distance for example i am showing you here you can see that this is dhubguri and this one is palagata if you use a rotameter then you can easily find out the distance between dhubguri and palagata so here i am showing you this is actually dhubguri and this one is actually moinaguri and this one is palagata so here from Dhubguri to Falakata the distance is 4.6 centimeter centimeter okay so if you convert this 4.6 centimeter then uh, you will use this scale here the given scale is actually 1 cm to 5 kilometer that's why I have written here also the scale the scale is 1 cm to 5 kilometer and here you can see that if the map distance is 4.2 and scale is 5 so it will be 21 how no 4.2 into 5 you will get 21 in this way 4.6 into 5 you will get this 23 
but in this case no need to find out these two column that means in centimeter distance and scale because here the distance in kilometer already given in the previous this question okay so now we will find out this column so this is the most important column so here I am explaining you how to find out these values so here you can see the formula is already given here d divided by 1 plus root over pb divided by pa here we are going to find out the influence zone of this city that mean a a mean actually this one the goody so we are going to find out the influence of Dhubguri town over the other towns so in this case this city or this town or center will be treated as a center okay and as we want to find out the influence over the other towns that that's why the other uh, total population will be treated as PB value so in this way here this one is PB so PB mean all these values and PA mean only this value okay now put the value PB here and PA here and calculate it then you will get the value 11.11 .11. in this way you will get this 11.8 then 10.67 2.93 4.92 and 11.41 so as all this breaking point distance is in kilometer you can't draw this large value that mean 11.11 .11. this is too much long so in such cases you have to select a suitable scale here I have selected 1 cm to 3 kilometer this is not fixed it is depends upon the size of the paper and the size of the maps so this value that mean 1 cm to 3 kilometer this free value is actually flexible after that you have to find out these columns that mean length of the BP in centimeter this is the reduced distance after applying this scale if you apply this value over these values that mean 11.11 .11 divided by 3 then you will get 3.7 in this way if you divide 11.8 by 3 then you will get 3.93 then 10.67 divided by 3 you will get 3.56 in this way all these BP or breaking point in centimeter you have to calculate after calculating this BP point you have to plot a diagram here is the diagram this center represents the main city that means the the goody Dhubguri town here is the Dhubguri town it represents by a so here this town is a Dhubguri and from Dhubguri to b town that mean Moinaguri the distance we have already calculated that 3.7 this 3.7 is the distance from the center to this point this is the breaking point that means from here to here it is actually 3.7 in this way for C town it is 3.93 you can see here from the center of this point to here it is actually 3.93 in this way you have to draw the breaking point of different routes for example D G E and F after putting the value you have to join all these points with straight line and you will get a zone this zone which is shown by this hashing line or coroplate shading this shading area or zone is actually represents the zone of influence of Dhubguri town or this is the functional region of Dhubguri town here I am showing you another map you can draw this same thing in this way also you can draw in this way and after completing the uh, I mean plotting then you have to interpret the data so in the first case you have to mention which center 
as the maximum and minimum influenced so here you can see the maximum influenced area is actually this one that mean uh, sorry this one is the maximum influenced area because here it is 3.93 so this is the maximum influenced area and this one is the minimum influenced center that mean you can see here the maximum influenced area towards Mainaguri and minimum here towards Kadamtala. The second thing you have to mention the cause of influence. So here you can see the minimum I mean influence occurred towards the Kadamtala due to the less, less distance and also less population. You can see here this is the uh, I mean Gadang and Kadamtala these two center has that mean E and F has less total population and less distance that's why the influence is also less so here in second you have to mention the cause of influence after that explain the importance what are the importance that mean importance of these I mean cities so finally you mentioned the importance and thank you for watching.